It's our time, our special time of day. Hello, kia ora, talofa. I'm Susie Cato, and you might remember me from your childhood, back when we explored the world together, and I helped explain things to you. Well, I'm back, and this time I'd like to try explaining what the different political parties are doing with their education policies for the elections. Let's go. National don't have any new policies for education, but we do know what their current policies are. They want to keep investing in high demand, high value courses such as sciences and ICT. They also support research by increasing investment in performance based research funding, or PBRF for short. That means that the academics get the money directly from the government instead of via their university departments. Labour wants to give everybody three free years of post-school education. Now this could be training, apprenticeship, or higher education approved by NZQA. It could be used for full-time or part-time study. Well, this doesn't cover students that have already studied, but they also want to give every tertiary student a personalised career development plan. Interestingly, there isn't much of an overlap on the education policies of any of the parties, and the Greens are no different. They support teaching te reo to every Kiwi child. They also want to provide free off-peak travel for all tertiary students and apprentices through a student green card on buses, ferries and trains. Now this card is going to be a bit like your Nan's Super Gold card. They also want to provide the Oscar subsidy to all low-income Kiwi families, and that's for after-school and holiday programs. What's that? You'd like to know when I'm going to talk about New Zealand First? How about I do that right now? New Zealand First want to create an education hui, and they want to develop a 30-year plan on improving education in all areas of New Zealand. They also want to create more teen parenting units, and that's to support teens who are struggling with the juggle between parenting and their own education. They also want to support career advice with career pathways other than the universities. Hmm, maybe that's a little bit like Labour's career development plan. Interesting. So what about the Opportunities Party? Well, they want to ensure that there is free, full-time, quality preschool education available and no national standards testing until Year 6. They also want to change the NCEA qualification so that there's no testing until Year 13. They support the dropping of the school decile rating system and they want to centralise the Board of Trustees system. They want to ensure that all teachers have a postgraduate degree and they want to check the tertiary sector and ensure that they're using taxpayers' funding to make sure that our workers of tomorrow are fully equipped. Well, let's see what's going on with the ACT Party. ACT are really excited by partnership schools. Now, partnership schools are a type of charter school, partly funded by the government, partly funded by private business. They would like to open more partnership schools and give other schools the chance to apply to become partnership schools. They'd also like to give more government funding to private schools and remove the cap that the government currently has on funding those private schools. Now we'd love to be able to tell you about the Māori Party policies but they hadn't provided their policies to us when we made this video. But we have included a link to their policies in the description below. See you, see you later, it's time to say goodbye. Hey, I hope you learnt something today, but more importantly, I hope you go out and vote on the 23rd of September. Go on, get amongst.